Today in our 2015 Nissan Murano, we're going to review and install the Curt Class 3 2-inch receiver to pitch, part number C13205. Here's what our hitch is going to look like once it's installed. This is a completely steel, fully welded constructed hitch. It's got a really nice black powder coated finish, so it blends in nicely with the underbody of the vehicle. It's got a real nice stylish round cross tube. The only thing really exposed is our chain hold downs. We've got one on each side and the pre-drilled 5 8 pinhole that goes all the way through our receiver tube. This is a class 3 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube and it's capable of up to 350 pounds of tongue weight and a 3,500 pound tow capacity. Next we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements. This will assist you selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is five and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening down to the ground is 12 and a half inches. We'll now go ahead and show you the minimum tools required for installing the hitch. Here we have our scraper, tube brush with some spray lubricant, 19 millimeter socket, an extension along with our ratchet for tightening and our torque wrench. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install the hitch. Now to begin our install, let's go ahead and point out the attachment points. Our attachment points are going to be well nuts built into the frame by the manufacturer. Here on the driver's side, just behind the exhaust hanger, it's going to be our forward attachment point. The next one will be our center attachment point. And then closest to the end of the frame will be our third and rear attachment point for the driver's side. Now on the passenger side, it's also going to be the weld nuts, but we're just going to have two attachment points. From the end of the frame, it's the first and the second weld nut. Now before we put our hitch in place, we're going to do a little prep work. Now, on some applications, on the bottom of the frame is going to be an undercoating or some overspray. We need to clean that off so that the hitch can sit flush with the bottom of the frame. Just using a scraper, we'll go ahead and peel off this overspray. Next, we're going to clean out the weld nuts, because over time they build up with rust, dust, dirt, and debris. It can be difficult to install the new hardware. Using a spray lubricant, we can just simply spray down the weld nut, take our half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092, and thoroughly clean out the threads. Then we can take one of the new fasteners and thread it into the weld nut to make sure it'll go nice and easily. Now, keep in mind all the fasteners are the same. It's going to be the hardware provided, a 12 millimeter bolt and half inch conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch as it goes through the hitch and into the weld nut. We're now ready to go ahead and install the hitch. It's a good idea to get an extra hand to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. Keep in mind as we install our fasteners, we'll install each one finger tight until we have them all in place. And once we have all our fasteners in place, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. And just like that, our hitch is installed and we're ready to hit the road. That'll do it for the review and install of the Curt Class 3 2-inch receiver to pitch part number C13205 on our 2015 Nissan Murano.